I greet you all in the name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. On today's video, I just want to share with you um, the reasons behind me um, taking off every piece of jewelry on me, including my wedding ring. Actually, I have a testimony regarding the wedding ring. Um, this one time I was busy praying on my knees, praying, and as I was praying, um, I heard the Lord speak. He, he said to me, Marilyn, um, your, that ring is unpleasant to my eyes. And as he said, as he said those words, uh, he, it's like he put me in him and got me to feel what he was feeling. Um, uh, during that moment, I, it's, it's, I felt him like putting his hands on, on his eyes, like really this ring was striking him. And then um, I, I remember taking it off. And then after praying, I took it back on. And then the first, the following day, as I was busy praying, 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 he said the same thing. Merlin, that ring is unpleasant to my eyes. And he gave me the same feeling of him blocking, of actually covering his eyes from this ring. And then I took it off and I continued praying and I finished. After finishing, I then took back my ring. But then this time it burned me, like it burned my finger. I felt it burning my finger. It was like it was melting on my finger. And then I instantly knew that God does not want me to put this ring on. God has not, has not ordained this. And um, after that moment, I went on my knees and I prayed again. I continued praying. I prayed and I prayed. And I prayed and then I asked him, Lord, um, what is wrong with a wedding ring? I mean, a wedding ring, we were taught it's a symbol to show the outer the world that you're actually married. It is a symbol to, it's a mark to say that you are married. But now, why would you want me to take it off? What is wrong with it? And then he said to me, he answered immediately. You know, this is one thing I've, 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 I've noticed that in, 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 the, in, in experiences that he wanted me to forsake certain things, he would just answer me immediately. He won't wait for me to sleep and then show me a dream or wait me to, to be on prayer and then show me a vision he just talk like talk will he'll allow that um two-way communication to happen when i ask him something and then he answers me immediately and then i i i asked him that but what is wrong with with the ring and then he said to me um it is it is it is not mine i did not um i did not ordain this I'm not the one who, I join people in my name. When people, two people are joined together, they are joined together in my name. And that is the foundation, that is um, what seals a marriage. And then after that, what, and um, how you are, what is to be a symbol to the world that you are married, is your behavior, how you carry yourself, how you address yourself in other people like how you, you 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 carry yourself on a daily basis your behavior should be simple enough is supposed to be simple enough that you are married and then i was like sure from there i went amen i just understood i just i understood what he was saying i had no other questions i just had no other questions and then um, I remember I went to the book, started searching scriptures. If what can I find about jewelry in the book? And then I came across the book of Exodus, chapter 33. I'll just read it to you. Exodus, chapter 33, verse 3. It reads Go up to this land that flows with milk and honey, but I will not travel among you. For you are a stubborn and rebellious people. If I did, I would surely destroy you along the way. Now, the words that popped out of this um, scripture 
out of this verse for me was stubborn and rebellious lord um, uh, the God told Moses that I will not be traveling among you because of your stubbornness and the rebelliousness and that was because of what the Israelites had done by making themselves a God a, 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 a God uh, from their jewelry their earrings after they had been pestering Aaron about uh, making them a god that they want a god moses has been gone for long um, they don't know what happened to him they want gods they want to worship they want a leader then aaron then came up with this um, said give me your jewelry give me your your earrings and then the word tells us that he burned it he, he melted it and then from there he created a calf then they started um worshiping that and that got god very angry um, that's the reason he called them stubborn and rebellious. So now he says, because of your stubbornness and your, re and, 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 and your rebellious behavior, I will not, I will not travel with you. So this shows you that um, for God to actually call them rebellious after that act, it um, it just shows that you know what uh, people they are quick to forget. And quick to write off God's word I mean Israel as God traveled with them from the land of he took them out of Egypt he shows them signs miracles all of those things and even after all that they still changed on him um, they, 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 they became stubborn which means a teachable spirit is not there um, disobedience is in the nature of a person so now, um, that also tells us that God cannot tolerate such. He cannot tolerate such if he speaks to you about something. Like I, I, I only, um, I'm not, I used not to read the Bible. Uh, I had issues with, with uh, I was struggling with, when it comes to the word. I, I used to, it was an attack. I'll share that on another video. I'll just fall asleep every time I try to read the word. So now it, um, it, um, it, it, it's through him talking to me that I was obedient. So if I did not have a teachable spirit, if he did not put that, that um, teachableness in me, uh, I would not have done any of these changes, nothing, nothing. I wouldn't have asked for him to help me be able to, to transform as he had asked me to. It, it was through... Um, uh, having a teachable spirit that I was able to do that so that's something that we people need to have as Christians you must have a teachable spirit and you must allow God to transform um, um, uh, uh, your thinking you must allow him to renew you to into a new person you must allow that to happen so now this shows that the Israelites did not have that and then in, in, in verse 4, it says, When the people heard this, stand words, they went into mourning and stopped wearing their jewelry and the fine clothes. They stopped wearing their jewelry and the fine clothes when they heard God say these words. So when they went into mourning, they went into prayer. And as they were praying, they then stopped wearing. They also stopped wearing these stuff. Um... I believe that um, for them to actually stop, they knew that this is what will please God. This is what will hopefully make God look at them mercifully. And they knew that they, they couldn't possibly travel without God. As Moses said in um, in, in, in one of, in, in, in the book of Exodus as well, he said, for your presence among us sets your people and me apart from all the other people on earth for your presence among us sets our people and me apart from other people so they knew that they need god if god turns uh, turns on them like this then that good is dead and then on verse 5 he says for the lord had told moses to tell them you are a stubborn and rebellious people if i were to travel with you or even a moment i will destroy you remove your jewelry and fine clothes while i decide what to do with you 
so from that from the time they left mount sinai the israelites wore no more jewelry or fine clothes they wore no more so god took out this word take off the jewelry take off and once god speaks something he never reverses it back this is what he spoke and it's still like that even today we 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 are not we are not to wear jewelry we are not um to wear this and i'm still doing more research but my testimony is mostly based on the fact that god spoke he spoke to me and i heard him jewelry he does not approve of he does not want it whether being a wedding ring he does not he says as woman let your behavior be testimony enough that you are married let it be a symbol that you are married same thing with the man let it be a symbol that you are married another thing he mentioned to me is that um jewelry is it 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 it, it has an effect um it has an effect on on people who wear it it, it 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 has a way of controlling your soul of controlling um uh, your behavior it has a way of doing that he said that it if you can look at married women married people in fact whether woman or man when they have the ring on it does not stop them from cheating does not stop them from having lustful feelings in fact it drives those feelings it drives them to be lustful it drives them to to be rebellious it drives them to be in disobedience it drives them to be stubborn so it is that alone also just tells you that it's definitely not from god something that's not from god something that's from god is holy it any would it keeps you holy and that is jesus christ he is the one that keeps us holy he's the one that keeps us in him um, um he's the one that that guides our paths of the way we go and 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 um direct us to 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 righteousness for the sake of his name so jewelry it's not of him you can go seek it for yourself pray ask god to reveal more of this to you as he has revealed it to me ask him ask him pray 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 he will definitely come through and speak to you about this it is not of god god says that he joins you together with your husband in in his name we are married joined together in his name and he says in the word a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife together they shall become one and what i have joined together let no man separate so do not bring uh, um uh, uh things like pagan stuff that are not of the lord to 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 dirty your marriage bed and he said in, says in the book of uh of hebrew that um a marriage bed is to be kept clean a marriage bed is to be kept clean so it must be kept clean and it can only be clean in the name of jesus christ he joins you in his name you remain in his name and he, he 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 will direct you on how you your ways of living he will help you be able to be a virtuous woman a noble a woman of a noble character he'll help you to be a, a man of loyalty or faithfulness he will he will help you with all of that and that alone your behavior will be evident enough to the world that you are a married person thank you have a good day and i hope that um you will seek God and, and seek more answers of this if you are doubtful anyhow Jesus Christ is there he's available ask him ask him ask him and he will unveil this to you